Australians love to hate cane toads. They've invaded a large region of the country and are marching defiantly into new territory. Harmless if left alone, but the poison could trigger the end of your life. They've got this incredible chemical arsenal that's capable of killing a large human. There's a lot of poison in an adult cane toad. The, the shoulder glands on these little guys actually contain easily enough poison to kill an adult human being and, and to kill them very quickly. Cane toads are among the biggest frog species in the world, with the female toads being significantly larger than the males. The females have quite smooth skin, whereas the males are warty and rough and have a couple of pads on their toes to attach to the females during mating. Another distinction is that if you happen to pick up a male toad, he'll sound out a special call that the female cannot make. In reproduction, the females usually lay one clutch a year that typically contains more than 30,000 eggs. At every stage of their development, eggs through to adults, the toads are poisonous. When a predator takes the bald move to attack a cane toad, the toads will blow themselves up with air to make themselves look larger and more of a target to be left alone. But if the predator then seizes the toad, the poison in their shoulder glands will be pushed out. But do not believe you'll be safe from the poison if you do not squeeze the toad. The toad can actually push it out itself, can squirt it out. And that poison is desperately painful if it hits you in the eyes or in a cut on the skin, and it can cause a heart attack if it's, if it's eaten. It's a very fortunate thing that toads are reluctant to use this arsenal that they carry around with them because they really are a very potently poisonous animal. There's a story that's been told over the years of a first-year medical student on the east coast of Australia who was in a lab class with his fellow students taking on a project to dissect a cane toad. The toad he was working on was female, and his classmates took advantage of this and dared him to eat the toad caviar. He challenged his friends to pay a dollar each for him to accept the dare. They were quickly on board. 20 minutes after consuming the eggs, he had his first of three cardiac arrests. He was rushed to the hospital and treated to intensive care for just over a month. You could be killed very quickly. Essentially, it interferes with very basic chemical processes in the cells, and uh, even quite large predators like the big freshwater crocodiles die very fast. The good news to this story is that cane toads really don't want to harm you unless they're forced into it. And this is the classic example of a dangerous animal because when you try to kill it, it will defend itself. Prior to 1935, no one in Australia needed to fear a cane toad. But in that year, 102 toads were introduced to cans from the Americas with the hope they would control the beetles destroying the local sugarcane crops. The plan was a flop, but the survival of the toads is a monumental success. We've now got a couple of hundred million toads right across tropical Australia. So even though they came from the rainforest, they've managed to invade the driest continent on Earth. They've evolved to travel faster and faster. In the early years, the toads were expanding at about 10 kilometers a year. Now it's about 60 kilometers a year. They've evolved longer legs. They're more active. Uh, they're a remarkable example of rapid evolutionary change. If you do encounter one of these beasts traveling across Australia, leave them alone. The consequences could end your journey. If you were unlucky enough or foolish enough to get cane toad poison into your eyes, you'd really want to get it out as soon as you can using fresh water and as much of it as you could get. But you might want to start thinking about heading off to the nearest hospital because this really is deadly stuff.